Here at Tormach, we want to help you make things. So here's three ways to cut threads with your mill. So one way to cut threads is to do it the old fashioned way. You had a manual bridge port, you could do the same thing. Chuck a lathe tool up in the vise and use the spindle to turn your part. Uh, as we have a three quarter inch uh, piece of bar stock that mates up with our collet for the TTS tools. Basically using the hand jog wheels to move stuff around, nothing's programmed. And then because there's no speed sensor, uh, there's no way to use point threads, so you get to do it the old fashioned way with some good old fashioned effort. Then it's always good to check the thread that you're making against a, uh, a known mate that you're going to use. More modern way to make threads with a CNC machine is to use some circular interpolation with an end mill to make the diameter of your thread and then to use a thread mill and helically interpolate down the uh, side of the part. So this was done in uh, Path Pilot Conversational. Uh, it's just a matter of choosing the thread we want. In this case, it's a 3 8 dash 40, so 40 threads per inch. And it just circles its way all the way down. Again, it's always good to check against another thread. So this plate was made with 3 8 dash 40 threads earlier and it matches up, which works perfect for this fixture plate. Now the best way is to get a lathe to make um, your own custom threads and with the rapid turn attachment uh, it's just a matter of turning down your diameter and then using a single point insert uh, to thread it and it's much faster than doing it on the mill. When single point threading or even threading with a, with a thread mill you have to keep in mind that when you look at the specifications for threads, you know, actual ANSI specifications, the major and minor diameters are not to an absolute sharp but to flats. So if you want your thread to match up perfectly the first time, you have to compensate for that extra little tip that's on the tool. Thanks for watching. Check out all of our latest videos here, and for more metalworking tips, tricks, and stories, subscribe to the YouTube channel.